I'm Derek Weekly here at Bates RV to talk to you a little bit about the 2012 Jayco Greyhawk. This is a 31FS, it's a bunkhouse model, and uh, hopefully you'll understand a little bit more what separates this from all the other Class C's out there. First, let's talk about the chassis. This is a Ford E450 chassis, uses the Ford V10, has a five-speed heavy-duty automatic transmission, also is a 14,500-pound GVW rating. You can pull up to 5,000 pounds with this rig. It already has the hitch on the back. This unit has a, a warranty, 36-month and 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper on the Ford chassis. The drive line is a five-year, 60,000-mile warranty. And of course, the whole coach, all the systems, air conditioning, power windows, cruise control, all that is under a 12-12 warranty. Come on around this way. First, I want to show you about their chassis with the, the big mirrors. It's a double mirror. They're powered, they're heated. Also, it has cameras out in the mirrors. The competition has the cameras mounted to the front fender and the body blocks half the view of the camera. With the Jayco, having the mirrors with the camera in the mount here, you get a full view of what's beside the coach so there's no blind spots. Follow me around this way. I want to talk a little bit about the exterior of the Jayco Greyhawk. This is an all vacuum bonded coach. There's pinch roll, there's a, not all coaches are created equal. This is the best process, it's the most expensive, and it's the best process for bonding the walls together so that they won't delaminate. This is a high gloss gel coat finish. They use on this one, this is the premium paint package, and there's no decals. This is all paint, clear coated, They use rotocast compartments. They won't rust, they won't hold moisture, and they're easy to clean. You also down here, under your patio area, you can plug in a TV or a children's game system, and they can sit here on the patio and play video games, or you can watch TV. This right here is the furnace exhaust. This is the vent access for your refrigerator. You should never have to take that off, actually. That's just a vent for the AC system. Out here under your patio, you also have more storage. You also have a LP quick connect so that you can run a gas grill out here under your patio off of the coach. You do not have to carry additional bottles with you. This is the LP tank right here. 68 pounds of LP, it's frame mounted. Everything in this coach uses very little LP. They're, they're very efficient when it comes to the LP usage with this. And this tank here should last you a very long time, especially in Florida, where you're not gonna be burning the furnace that much. Uh, that's about the main, main thing that uses the most LP. Now this Greyhawk here has the upgraded aluminum wheels, a beautiful feature. It also is a lighter weight than the steel wheels, so that, that kind of helps keep the weight of the coach down, gets you a little bit better fuel economy. You also have your marine grade speakers. They're mounted down low, not up high, because if they're up high and you're sitting here, your neighbors are going to hear your stereo but you're not going to. Down here, you don't have to use as much volume. You can hear your stereo and you're not bothering your neighbors. The Ford chassis on this coach has a 55 gallon fuel tank, which gives you a long range. You also have ladder going up to the roof. It's a full walkable roof with a fiberglass shield. Most coaches like this are either rubber or a TPO roof. Here's the 5,000 pound hitch. It already has the seven pin wire. If you need to add a brake controller and the brake wire, 
You can do that if you need to tow anything that requires trailer brakes. On this side here, got a nice deep storage compartment, again, rotocast. You have low point drains right here, so when you're done using the coach for the season, you want to get all the water out. You don't have to crawl underneath the coach and find hidden low point drains that are right here, two of them. You just turn them, drains the coach. Also, you have a very quick and easy system with the Jayco, so that if you want to winterize or you want to fill your tank, quite literally, you have your hose hooked up to the side of the coach here, and you don't have to disconnect and then open a cap. You just keep your hose here, and then where it says city fill, right here, one and six, this lever on one like it is, and this lever on six like it is, and it automatically fills the tank. When you see the water coming out the bottom, you know your tank's full, and you just shut your hose off. It's very easy. If you want to winterize your coach at the end of the season, same thing. Just right here, winterize, set this valve on two, set this one on four, and then you winterize your coach with some antifreeze and you're good to go. Quick and easy. Slam latches, much more durable. And the nice thing about these, it's not the 751 key that opens everyone else's compartment like a Samsonite suitcase. These stay locked. You don't have to worry about your neighbors getting into it. Greyhawk also gives you an outside sewer hose compartment so you don't have to coil your sewer hose in with your belongings. Stays out here, no mess. Also, you have black tank flush out. This is great because you no longer have to track a hose through inside the coach and put a hose down in the toilet to flush out your tank. You just hook it up here and it cleans out your tank. It's your fuel fill for the 55 gallon fuel tank. And by the way, the Ford chassis runs just fine on the cheap stuff. It'll burn the, the 87 octane with no problem. Now there's a lot of features that this coach has that come from the bigger Highline buses. This being one of them. This is a tankless hot water heater. Most coaches have a six gallon hot water heater that burns LP. This coach doesn't have a tank at all, it's instant. That saves a lot of LP because the only time it burns LP is when literally you're, you have the hot water on. As soon as you shut the faucet off, that's off. So you're not burning to keep six gallons of water hot all the time. This right here is your 110 volt cord. You've got satellite and cable hookup in here. There's a lot of coaches out there that only have cable hookup. You can't run a satellite signal over those. This one here is wired for both. You can run satellite or cable. You also have another 110 volt plug out here if you need it. Again, more storage. This right here is the battery tray for the coach. It's on a slide tray, so it's very easy to maintain. You can check your battery, you can change your battery, and it's on a slide tray. You don't have to crawl back under there and loosen a lot of stuff, and it locks right in. It's a maintenance-free deep cycle battery. This is the Cummins Onan 4000. It's a four kilowatt generator. It runs off of the main fuel tank, the same tank that the main engine runs off of. This generator here will burn about a half a gallon an hour, uh, which is really fuel efficient because now you can run this going down the road and run your air conditioner, your refrigerator. Mom can go back and pop something in the microwave all while you're on the road. Jayco puts the skid strips here so you don't have to worry about slipping as you come out of the coach. 
The other thing too I want to point out about the generator. Jayco puts the exhaust opposite your patio, farthest from the bedroom. So if you do need power and you want to run your generator, you can do that with this coach with minimal noise and vibration and not smell exhaust out in your patio. Beautiful design. Jayco Greyhawk also uses a fiberglass front cap. If you notice, there's no trim seams along the edges with where they wrap the roof material down around the front. Jayco uses an actual fiberglass front cap. Very aerodynamic, very sleek looking. They also may not show up on film, but right here is the line. You've got 3M rock guard and, and love bug shielding all on the leading edges of the hood, the fenders, the fender skirts, anywhere where rocks or bugs could hit. Another really nice feature, Jayco Greyhawk uses the power awning. It's a push button, in and out, and it's all wrapped. So you don't have to worry about the sun deteriorating your fabric while it's in storage or going down the road. You don't have to worry about branches scraping the, the material and, and tearing your awning. The windows on this coach are hair windows. Those are an industry leader. They also are tinted, so it keeps the coach a lot cooler inside. It's an expensive option, but Jayco puts it in there. bunkhouse model which sleeps up to nine people. You've got a queen bed up here, you've got a dinette that makes into a bed. And I want to show you something special about this dinette. Most coaches have a pole here that you have to lift the table off and on and it's a real knee knocker. This one, there's no post underneath it's, and it's really easy. Even the kids can make their own bed because all they have to do is unlock this lever and it runs down the wall on slides. So the kids can make this up and pull it back up and lock it. Takes no pressure at all, even if you have a bad back, it's no problem. Got storage underneath on both sides. You also have a queen bed up here, 32 inch LCD TV up in the front here, ducted AC. This is a 5 8 inch thick floor. Doesn't have the flex that a lot of the cheaper coaches do. It's a, one of the places that other manufacturers cut a lot of corners. Nice deep storage, tall storage. You can put a lot of stuff in this coach. They finish it out with a beautiful mirror front. You've got a sofa and a dinette. So dad, you can sit here on the sofa, watch TV, Kids can sit here at the table and play games. So your sofa does make into a bed for one person or two children. This will sleep two people. Then you also have the queen up there. Have a nice kitchen, has both a microwave and an oven. Most of the time you only get one or the other, not both. Something else I want to show you about Jayco. Right here, plywood not particle board. They use metal slides with roller bearing. A lot of coaches you'll open that up and you'll see uh, either a decal wood grain on there and you'll see white painted roller and plastic rollers. It, this is quality stuff. High rise faucet with sprayer just like at home. Plenty of lights in the coach. These lights, these can lights in the ceiling these are residential grade, they're glass, they're not cheap plastic. Moving along here, nice big freezer and fridge. This fridge will run on both LP and electric. What's really nice about this coach is on the auto feature, if you have it on LP at the park, power goes out, you're gone, you don't know it, food's gonna spoil.
not with this. On auto, it'll kick over to LP automatically and keep your food cool until the power comes back on. Then it'll switch back to electric. Right here you have bunk beds, each with their own six and a half inch TV. Kids can lay up there and play games on rainy days or on the road. Nice feature. And mom, dad, I know privacy is probably one of the things you're thinking about. This coach, you have your living area with a hard pocket door and then to separate the kids area, another hard pocket door. So you have three separate living areas, all with privacy. Bathroom, very, very nice. Roomy, plenty of room, glass shower door, removable hanging bar, and a skylight over the shower. All the fans in the bathroom and in the living room area, bedroom area, wherever there's a power fan in the Jayco, they use the Quiet 13 blade, uh, fantastic type fan. Back here is a queen bed, walk around, you have access to your storage under here. You also have 110 volt plugs with nightstands on both sides. So if you do happen to have a sleep apnea machine or something like that, or you wanna charge your phone beside the bed, you can do it. Full wall wardrobe. Got a 22 inch TV in the bedroom with storage behind it. You have drawers for small stuff, drawers for large stuff, and again, plywood, metal drawer slides, they're full extension. You don't have these things where it's halfway out and you have to reach, they're full extension. Nice hanging closet. Getting back to the Ford chassis, we have power steering, we have cruise control, tilt wheel, power windows, door locks, power mirrors. Again, they're heated. You also have an in-dash CD player, stereo, and navigation system, all right here. The screen also doubles as your backup camera and your side cameras. What's neat about the triple camera system on this coach is again, those cameras out on those mirrors, when you turn on your right turn signal, that screen's gonna show you what's down the right side of the coach. When your left turn signal's on, it's gonna show you what's on the left side. When the turn signals are not on, it's gonna show you what's out the back of the coach. So if you have a tow vehicle you wanna keep an eye on, or you just wanna see who's behind you. No blind spots. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, my name's Derek Weekly. Feel free to contact me here. And remember, we take anything on trade as long as it doesn't eat. Thanks for watching.